Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Sniper Elite 4, where we are about to start the Regolino Viaduct mission. So I'm going to leave my loadout the same as it was before, because I'm the most familiar with it. Um, I'm going to take the FNAP 43, my trusty Springfield rifle, the Wellrod pistol, and then the trip mine, or um, an S mine, a trip mine, subsonic ammo for the pistol, a grenade, and two bits of medic, uh, medical stuff. Alright, so get started. This is a pretty big mission and it's pretty cool. Lots of directions we can go. Alright, but first of course, we have some people we can talk to, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's start talking uh, to Sophia here. You did well to find me at the castle. So it was a test, to see if I'm a... Uh committed to your cause. Our people were about to be executed. Past experience suggests we can't always rely upon the Allies. Is that what you want? A test? Try me. Very well. There is a railway gun parked on the viaduct. It's killed many of our people. If the Allies come this way, it'll kill many of your people too. There must be a reason you haven't taken it out yourselves. Consider it a challenge, Fadaban. Alright, so that's for our main objective. Then we have uh, Lucio to talk to. Ah, the uh, sniper. My name is Lucio. Yeah, Lucio from the Ruined Castle. The angel got there in the nick of time. Yeah, she, uh, she saved us. She's, uh, an angel of mercy, huh? Uh, judging by the number of dead fascists, I'd say, uh, more like the angel of vengeance. <laughs> Maybe, but, um, she only kills evil men, huh? <laughs> and, uh, what about you? You only kill evil men? But of course. <laughs> Untrustworthy son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, so we have um, only a few guys to talk to, but apparently we can talk to uh, Weaver over here as well. Carl, I heard you uh, talk to an angel. Eventually. Listen now. I have an informant, a man named Dorfman, high up in the Nazi hierarchy. You trust him? Well, Dorfman's been a reliable source before now. Says there's a major ammunition cache in the vicinity of the viaduct. And you want me to destroy it? Need you ask. Alright, so another objective. And then of course we can talk to the radio. I'm not sure where the sick guy is. I'm not seeing him around right now. But uh, I guess he's somewhere else. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Red Fox calling Mother Hen. Receiving you, Red Fox. American observation aircraft crashed over Regalino. Design is top secret. Vital you find pilot and recover aerial footage. Also, destroy plane wreckage. Out. Red Fox out. Alright, so that should be the last of our... Um Secondary objectives. We can see the viaduct there in the distance. It's quite big. And if we look at the map, uh, let's see, we start over here. We can go either left or right. Um, I think I'll go left because I don't think I've seen that part of the map before. So let's get started. Alright, so, let's get started. As I said before, I'm, I'm going to want to go left, but first we have to go down, so... question is, how? That is a good question. Alright, god damn it. Really strange thing about these ladders is once you, once you get onto them, for some reason I, I feel like the, the way the camera That's looks at it, it kind of reverses the way you, uh, you go up and down these things. And it's really, really annoying. Like, sometimes I climb back up without really meaning to. That's just a quirk of how the controls function, which is really, really 
really annoying and weird. All right, um, so we're down. This is the T section that we are in. So let's see, we are right here somewhere. I'm going to want to go towards this direction and uh, try to go around and end over at this compound and maybe clear out some of the real way as well from there. And then we can just keep going, keep going around here. There's probably something to find around here as well. So we're just going to try to clear as much of the map as we possibly can, but um, yeah, you know, go kind of, uh, is it? Yeah, it's clockwise. So we're just going to go <laughs> go through the map clockwise. Ooh, we have a campfire over there. Doesn't look like there's any movement, so let me just do a crouch sprint. Uh, the really cool thing about this mission is that the railway gun is loud enough to cover uh, the sound of rifle shot fire anywhere on the map. All right, this area looks clear, which is cool, and we have a generator as well. Let's put a gun, or a, not a gun, let's put a shot into that uh, radio equipment so they can't use it. Not entirely sure how much they use it, but... Uh, all right. This looks like a pretty good sniping position then. Let's take out our binoculars and see what we can see. Uh, right, so we have this area over here. We have one infantry over here. Jan Sneer, conscripted in 1935. Oh, really? He's been a soldier for like eight years or something like that. Ooh. Alright, so we have an officer, we have another soldier on patrol there. Another dude right there. Oh, look at that. Another guy, 180 meters, Heiner Brand, formerly a fisherman from the port town of Blins. Bins, illiterate. Right, I hear Germans talking, but so softly like I'm, I'm i'm noticing the subtitles instead of actually hearing them talking so i guess they're far enough away but um all right let's uh create the sound mask opportunity let's get a little bit lower and see who we can hit there's a guy walking right there there's almost no wind that's really favorable Two guys walk, walking together. Crap, come on. There we go. Oh, out goes his jaw. And the other guy is still completely unaware. Alright, let's wait for the next sound mask opportunity. Another headshot, nice. At least an officer, if I'm correct. And he probably noticed the dead bodies is and is in hiding right now. Maybe do we have a guy? What? Yep. God damn it! That guy could be an opportunity as well, but first I'd like to take out this, those guys that are a little bit closer to me. So close. Probably overcompensating for the wind. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Definitely overcompensating for the wind there. Alright, so that guy's down. That should draw the attention of his buddies. Damn it, that guy is gone. Wonder where the officer went to. Because I'm not seeing him. Right, we're just going to hang out here for a little bit longer. Just so we can see who is exposing himself. So we can take out as many guys as possible before moving on. Oh, there's the officer right there. It was a hit, but... Crap, that's probably too late for the next shot. 
<laughs> oh, we still managed to make that shot. Awesome. I had my doubts, but I was going to try either way. Alright, excellent. All sound mass as well. They still have no idea where I am. Oh, there's a guy too. Oh, there's multiple guys right there. Probably want to wait a little bit longer. Alright. There's another guy down. Two guys behind the building. Not sure if they're just uh, going to stay put there or not. <laughs> uh, you can't hide from me. Not for very long, anyway. That guy was in the bushes, I think. That still leaves one guy. And also keeping an eye out for that guy on the pier, because I'd love to take him out as well from this position. It's definitely a shot we should be able to make work. Ah, goddammit! Alright, he's going back this way, I suppose. Ah, that guy's coming back. Alright, let's uh, increase the range to 100 meters. So we ha don't have to adjust as much. Oh! There we go. Ooh, the top of his head too. That was very close to missing then. But we made it. We made the shot work. That pleases me. Oh, oh, crap. I missed the sound mask. Alright. I feel like we've cleared out all that we can for now from this position, so I'll probably move on as well because I missed the sound mask for uh, for that first uh, shot. Or, that, yeah, that first shot on that last dude there. Probably want to move forward a little bit and then uh, hide in a bush for a second, see if anything's coming our way. There's a ladder. Alright. Also, we can check out this building, so let's, let's uh, actually sneak forward a little bit. See what we can see. These things are very carefully placed. There's a chain going down, so we might as well try to climb it, I suppose. Or at least, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. If there's still guys around here, then that would be a bad idea. But, uh... Looks pretty clear. I think we got everyone that was walking around this area. So let's have a, a peek inside. Alright, another room that we should clear. And then, of course, the upper level as well. A letter. Hugging one another. <laughs> Alright. Let's check out the upper level. Alright. All clear. That's good. Balcony. Jaeger troops Ooh. need to deal with that checkpoint. Yep, got some Jaegers. Let's see, regular infantry. Jaeger infantry. An officer. Plenty of explosives lying around as well. Oh man, I'd love to make that shot right now. But I kind of want to wait. Ooh, that guy might notice me. Yeah, they're aware of something. Need to be careful. Oh, that was a sound mask opportunity. <laughs> Excellent. Officer is down. Of course, all of these other guys are now aware. I'm 
just going to bide my time and wait for the next uh, sound mask opportunity. Right, that guy is running off to the left. That's fine for now. I'm going to keep an eye on that soldier right there. Oh, still in time. And not accurate enough for a kill. Wonder what I hit. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that was a nice shot, actually. Ripped out part of his spine, part of his head, part of his neck, too, by the looks of it. And I guess this will be the last guy, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to wait for the, another uh, sound mask opportunity there. another body I guess all right then I suppose there's still a guy left because the objective was it an objective let me check the map and uh, see German checkpoints cleared, one out of two. Ah, all right, so we cleared this one, but there's another one that we still need to clear as well. All right, let me uh, go check out the corpse of the officer and uh, check it for documents and some uh, other stuff like that. He's over here somewhere. Ah, yeah, there he is. Duty roster. Nothing else. Might as well search these other guys as well now that I'm here. Might find some collectibles on their bodies. Or other other useful stuff like killer mines, like on this dude. Alright, this was the last guy I killed. The other guy, the other Jaeger. Not entirely sure where he went. Ooh, there's another uh another dude over there. Just uh, casually sipping his drink. Oh, that was so close. I'm going to take that shot again. There we go. You know, that wasn't sound mass, but I figured this area was clear enough for me to be able to get away with it without drawing a whole lot of troops our way. It should be pretty safe. All right, that pier should then be clear. There is a ray and. Because I see smoke, that that generally means there's a generator there, so... Hmm. Alright. I guess we can also move up to that little house over there, check to see if there are any valuables inside, and also search the officer corpse that is located there. I think that's the guy right there. No, he's right here. All right. Tell her mine. Can't Rifle find ammo. Anything else. Excellent. Some more suppressed pistol ammo. TNT. Ooh, TNT is always good in case we encounter vehicles and stuff like that. Oh, we can go inside here. That's fine. his body as well. Some more rifle ammo. Rifle ammo is always good. Alright, so we are closing in on the pier. Let's have a look at the map. Um, pier is right there. We are in a bush right here, I guess. So more buildings up ahead and that might mean more troops. So still got to be careful here. Try to stick to cover as much as we can or at least concealment. Looks pretty clear.
Right, and since there's a generator here, um, I'm assuming that we can make some more shots on other German soldiers. Checkpoint needs taken care of. Ah. Yep, there's the other checkpoint, I guess. Panther turn. Nasty. Oh crap. That is indeed nasty. Let's see. Does it have weak spots? Gunner's gunner slot. Uh alright. Let's search the crate. I'm not sure how to deal with the panzer term. This will come in very useful. Probably with TNT, disable it or something like that. I'm not entirely sure though. Because I think that one is dug in, so. Well, let's create a sound mask opportunity. And there's bound to be more than just a, than the Panzer. Or the Panferturm. There's bound to be a few more guys. Yeah, there's a building. Not seeing anything though. There has to be something. Looks like that will be the end of the map there, so no real need to look in that direction. There is a, like a, a, an outpost, wooden outpost there, so... Hmm. Right, I guess we're going to have to try to get closer and hope for the best. I think we're going to take care out of this outpost and then it's going to be the end of this video because then at that point we've probably reached the half hour mark and I try to keep these videos about a half hour long so that um, well it's a little bit easier for people to watch in their free time you know like it's, it's not as good uh, when a video is like an hour long there's a guy right there Another guy right there. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Jaeger right there. The Jaegers are the biggest threats. He also has a sniper rifle. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Good. Still sound mast. One of the Jaegers is down. And but like I said, there's bound to be a few more. All of these guys are marked. Are you? No, he's not aiming at me. <laughs> Good, I was worried for a second there. That is the guy with the helmet though, so he's going to go first. There's an officer here somewhere as well, because I heard a whistle. But, uh... He's going to have to wait until he pops into view. He's going to hold on a second until we have another sound mask opportunity. center of the head. At least it's quick and painful. Or uh, painless, actually. <laughs> quick and painless. Ooh, there's a vehicle going by. Is that, um... On this road, by the looks of it. Probably, because I'm, I'm somewhere over here. So... Yeah, he's driving along this road. That would be a good place for a mine, or something like that. Ooh, there's the officer. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Crap, I'm not seeing him. There he is. Right, sound mask. 
please. God damn it, no. <laughs> oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Ah. Come on, stop mask. Crap, it's gone. And I'm also out of cover. <laughs> or concealment. Not a Jaeger over there. Ooh, crap, they're heading my way. Oh, crap, they are onto me. That is not good. <laughs> or they have some idea of where I am though, but they haven't been able to confirm it because I've been sound masking pretty well. <laughs> but they're definitely closing in on my position there. Look at that. Oh crap, they're coming this way. They are coming this way. Fuck. Might be able. Can I, in the meantime, run away somewhere else? No, I can't run to that bush because they're probably looking in that direction. There's nothing over there. I am going to have to stay put. He's coming this way. The officer is hanging back. Oh, man, I just missed its sound opportunity. <laughs> Actually, this is probably the last guy, so... That's the end of that checkpoint. There we go. So the checkpoint is clear. Uh, there is a guy still up there. And of course, we still have the Panferturm here as well. That thing is nasty, and I'm not comfortable with leaving it there. So, let's see what we have. We have two TNTs. We can uh, actually put a timer on these. Maybe we can just throw these over, like... Yeah, if, if the thing turns orange, I think that means that it is close enough to do damage. Gunner kill, TNT. Alright, so if the gunner is dead... And that thing is smoking... That probably means it is now uh, uh, safe to approach, right? Um, yeah, fine. I'm going to keep the TNT selected for now. The gunner is dead. That thing doesn't seem to be moving. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's add a timer onto that thing as well. And then get to cover. <laughs> Let's watch it blow. Term nice. Excellent. Alright, so that's going to be it for this episode. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.